Hi! Good day to everyone! Welcome to my class! Our learning competencies Illustrates a relation and a function Verifies if a given relation is a function Determines dependent and independent variables Relation defined A relation is a set of ordered pairs in which each value of x element is paired with one or more value of y element. In a relation, the domain is the set of first coordinates while the range is the set of second coordinates. The ways of representing a relation Relation as a set of ordered pairs Let's have an example. These are the set of pairs wherein the continent and one of their countries. We have Asia Philippines, Asia Singapore, Africa Uganda, Europe Italy. Let's enumerate the domain and range of set A. The domain are the set of the first coordinates which are Asia, Africa, and Europe. While the range are the set of the second coordinates, which are Philippines, Singapore, Uganda, and Italy. Let's have example number two. Enumerate the domain, which are the x coordinates 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the range are the set of the second coordinates that are 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. Will you please try this one? Enumerate the domain and range. Okay, that's correct. The domain are negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. How about the range? Okay, that's correct. You have 5, 4, and 6. Relation described by a table. We have table number 1, the x coordinates and the y coordinate. To get the pairs, we have Asia, Philippines, Asia, Singapore, Africa, Uganda, Europe, Italy. Next table, number 2, we have the X and the Y coordinates. Given the pairs, we have 1, 5. 2, 7, 3, 9, 4, 11, and 5, 13. We have the last table, table number 3. Consists of X and Y coordinates. Give the pairs, negative 1, 5. 0, 4, 1, 5, and then 2, 6. Relation described by a mapping diagram. We have diagram 1, x coordinates as the domain, and then y coordinate as the range. Make an arrow 
to have your pairs. We have Asia Philippines, Asia Singapore, Africa Uganda, Europe Italy. This type of relation can we consider as one to many correspondence, meaning one domain to many range correspondence. Let's have diagram 2. You have the X coordinates as the domain and Y coordinate as the range. Make an arrow to have their pairs. You have 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 9, 4, 11, and 5, 13. This type of relation, we consider this as one-to-one -one correspondence, meaning one domain to one range. Relation described by a mapping diagram, diagram 3. You have the x-coordinate as the domain and y-coordinate as the range. Make an arrow to have their pairs. You have negative 1, 5. 0, 4, 1, 5, and 2, 11. This type of relation is many to one correspondence, meaning many domain to one range correspondence. Function defined. A function is a special kind of relation in which each x element has only one y element associated with it. The relation is a function because every x element has only one y element associated with it. There is no repetition in the domain. Example, set f. We have the pairs negative 2, 0. Negative 1, 1, 0, 2, and 4, 6. State all the domain you have. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 4. And the range are 0, 1, 2, and 6. Set F is a function because no domain or first element repeats in the set of pairs. Let's have example 2. Table A has their X coordinate and Y coordinates. To make the pairs, you have negative 2, 5, negative 1, 6, and 0, 7. Table A is a function because no X coordinate or first element repeats in the table. Example number 3, you have diagram A. Given X coordinates and Y coordinates, make an arrow to give their pairs. You have negative 2, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 4, 1, 0, and 2, 1. Example number 3 is also a function because no x coordinate or first element repeats in arrowing the y coordinate or second element. The graph that represents a function. To determine if the graph is a function or not is by using the vertical line test. If the vertical line test intersect at exactly one point, the graph is a function. Let's have the given graph. A graph is a line. When we are going to draw the vertical line, 
intersecting the given graph and it intersect at exactly one point, this is a function. Let's have the other graph. From the second graph, we draw a vertical line touching the graph. If the vertical line tests intersect at exactly one point, so this is a function. Another example, the graph is not a function if the vertical line tests intersect more than one point of the graph. Let's have an example. The given graph intersect the vertical line more than one that point and the other point. So this is not a function. Let's have another example. The given graph and your vertical line test intersect this point and this point. You have one point and then two points. So this is not a function because the vertical line intersect more than one point of the graph. Dependent and independent variable. An independent variable can be assigned by any value, the variable x. It affects the value of another variable called dependent variable, the variable y, because its value depends on the value of x. The independent variable can be the input and the dependent variable is the output. The independent variable is the presumed cause whereas the dependent variable is the presumed effect. To understand the independent and dependent variables, consider the statements below. Example number one, the performance of a student and his grade in a subject. The performance of the student is the independent variable because his performance affects his grade in the subject, which is the dependent variable. Example number two, the power consumption and electric bill of a household. Which one is the independent variable and dependent variable? The independent variable the power consumption and the dependent variable is the electric bill why because the electric bill depends on the power consumption let's have another example the chance of class suspension and the amount of rainfall the independent variable amount of rainfall and the dependent variable chance of class suspension why because the chance of class suspension depends on the amount of rainfall let's have the last example the price and the size of a pair of shoes in the department store The independent variable, size of a pair of shoes, and the dependent variable, the price. Why? Because the price of the shoes is depends on the size of a pair of shoes. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.